Hi, I'm Alan McCrabby at Saley Company and welcome to our first program of Scopology 101. Uh, if you've just bought a scope from us, thank you. And if you've just gotten it out of the box, like I have this one here, this is a brand new 100 megahertz uh, entry level scope from Owan. And uh, you want to hook up the probes to it and get to know it real fast. But there's three things I want to talk to you about that you can use anytime should you have or suspect you have any kind of a problem with what you're seeing on the scope. Is it real or not? Or is, there, is it my circuit? It's hard to know, but there is a way where you can step back and get back to ground zero. And the first way is to make sure the scope passes its power, up sel power on self-test. The second thing is to set factory defaults. This, the third thing is to run a self-cal on the unit. And as a little added bonus, we're going to take a look at these probes here, and we're going to make sure our probes are compensated properly in the second program. But we're going to at least take, take an intro to that right now. So this scope is brand new, just came out of the box, and the first thing we want to do is power it up and see how it runs through its own power on self-test or post. And most scopes that we sell will have some kind of a splash screen like this that you see with, the, of course, the company logo on it and the model and some other fancy stuff. And it takes a few seconds for it to get through the thing and eventually develops the oscilloscope screen that you see here. So the, uh, the first thing we were going to do after we established that power on self-test was working properly, we were going to look and see if we could set factory defaults. Now some, some scopes will have a default button, others will have it buried somewhere in the, in the menus like this one does. This one has it under the utility key and I'm just going to hit defaults right here and get the scope to assume all the settings that it comes right out of the box. Okay, so anyway the next thing to do <clears throat> is to make sure that the scope can pass its own self-calibration program and again that's underneath the utility key. <clears throat> so we're going to just find it real fast here because we ended up setting factory defaults. Here it is here, self-cal. And of course when you do this you don't want to have anything attached to the channel 1, channel 2 front end inputs right there. So it takes a few seconds to run through this. You can see the progress bar moving along from left to right as it does this and it's performing some gains and zeros um, tests on this to make sure everything is working properly. If your scope hangs up and it doesn't complete the progress bar or something else untoward happens then you'll have to call me and we'll have to see what we can do about that. Well we can see that the scope uh, performed its power on self test and the factory defaults work properly and it's also passed self test. So, I would have a fair, fairly high level of confidence in this scope. So let's hook up some probes and just see what we get for some signals. We're using the calibrator um, output right here on the front of the scope, which puts out some kind of a square wave at a certain frequency and a certain voltage uh, peak to peak level. You can hit the auto set button and get a nice dis nicer display than that. Here it is here. Okay, when, you, when you're looking at these, of course, pay attention to the frequency that, it's, that the scope is showing and also the peak-to-peak -peak level of the, of the square wave right there because if there's something wrong, uh, the square wave may have the right shape, but it may not be the right amplitude or something else may be wrong with it. Um, we can see that um, both of these probes need to be compensated. This one's a little, the, the edge is a little rounded. This one is, there's a little bit of overshoot and undershoot on channel two. So in our next, uh, our next program, we're going to look at how to adjust the probes so that uh, you get some really nice looking signals. So thanks for watching.